Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Do you remember, um, probably a couple of years ago, I used to do a range of paintings that I called my iris paintings. Um, so I actually am I'm an optician, an optometrist, so I look up close at irises um, for my day job and they're absolutely beautiful. So I did this whole range of paintings where I did a black pupil in the centre and then some swipes out to create the, the effect of an iris. I'm going to do it again. I absolutely loved it, um, that, that that range of painting. So I'm going to try again. Um, I've been inspired recently by a different colour scheme, a blue and orange colour scheme following a commission I did. Um, so I'm going to try a blue and orange, a bluey turquoise and orange um, iris swipe. So let me show you the colours. Here are the colours. So I've got some um, Amsterdam black for the actual pupil, some Pebio iridescent orange yellow, Amsterdam cyan um, blue. This is a mixture of um, vermilion and a yellowy colour by Amsterdam. Amsterdam greenish blue. I think I've got it here. Uh, yeah, greenish blue. Uh, Montmartre white. Sky blue by Amsterdam. King's blue by Amsterdam. And then um, Pebio Studio acrylics, iridescent blue green and silver. So they're all mixed with my PVA glue and water pouring medium and I've added silicon to them all. I've added this, some oil, so moisturising coconut milk anti-breakage hair serum. Um, so that's going to create some cells as I swipe. This canvas is 60 by 42 centimetres. Um, it's a canvas that I'm reusing, so I've already poured on it, but the painting didn't work out, so I have... Um, apply gesso so that I can reuse the canvas. <clears throat> I'm just drawing a circle, a semicircle, and I want to get that semicircle in the middle. So I'm just measuring, I'll make sure it's in the right place. Um, so this semicircle will be the pupil. I want it to be quite a nice large um, uh, pupil because it's it's quite a nice large canvas. So I think that'll be fine. So I actually decided that that wasn't big enough. I want it to be an obvious pupil and this is going the iris is going to go right out to these corners. So I've actually, I've gone bigger with my black pupil. So that's going to be black. Um, <clears throat> so... I'm going to drizzle a layer of the colours in lots of um, concentric circles. I'm using paper cups so that I can bend them. That will just help me to pour the colours. Um, so, oh, you know, one thing I've forgotten to do is put my push pins in the back so you can see it's a reused canvas. What I um, tend to do, a lot of people cover the sides of the canvas before pouring. I don't tend to do that because when, like, once the painting is finished, I put picture framing tape over the edge and it just gives it a really nice finish um, to the back of the canvas. <clears throat> so I now know the canvas is level. Um, and the big push pins are great because I can put my hands right underneath and lift it really, really easily. Um, if it's a small canvas, I use the small push pins, but it is more difficult to get your fingers underneath to pick up. So the, the big push pins, I just get them from Amazon. Um, they are well worth it. They're amazing. And you can just keep reusing them. They're absolutely filthy, um, but it just doesn't matter. Um, you can see they're just covered in paint. It doesn't matter in the slightest um, because if they're all covered in paint, they're still all going to be the same height and level. Um, right, so let's get started. So I'm going to pour on one at a time. So I'm just following the curve of the pupil. And I do want it to drip down the side because then that will make this edge, um, give it a nice finish, make it look pretty.
All right, I think I might leave it there and then the corners I'm going to do black. Now my worry now, I've that my corners aren't the same size because that my curve isn't quite even and symmetrical. So actually what I should have done is drawn some lines on to make sure I've got cons proper concentric circles, but it's too late. Um, so I'm just going to now, just with what paint I've got left, just try and fill in some of these little gaps. Right, I'm ready to start swiping. I've just cut up lots of pieces of um, kitchen roll. I'd quite like to try swiping with kitchen roll. I haven't done that for quite a while. Um, kitchen roll is, is obviously very, very light um, and it's not necessarily going to stick to the paint very well. So I've got some water here and I'm just... Um, oh, I see I'm dripping it everywhere. I'm just very gently tapping some of the water onto the end of the piece of kitchen roll so it's not dripping wet it's just damp that will help it stick to the paint right so when i swipe what i will end up with if i swipe from the center outwards i'm going to end up with lots of bits in the center uh, so the edges that i've missed so i'm just going to work out whether to swipe from the center to start with or do some more peripheral swipes and then come in from the center Uh, I think I'm going to start from the centre. If I start from the edge, I'm not sure where to swipe. I'm going to start from the centre. Um, and I might as well just start from the from the end. So I'm going to touch, uh, just touch this onto just the turquoise. And then simply just pull out towards the edge of the canvas. Perfect. So if you imagine the centre is there, so I'm always pulling from the centre. So what I'm doing now is I want to fill in these extra gaps, but I don't really want to keep swiping from here because it's going to be muddying the colours here so much. So <clears throat> I'm putting the water on the corner on two edges and then I'm just introducing it at the point where the colours haven't blended diag and pulling it diagonally on that corner. So instead of on the straight edge. So it's looking a little bit disrupted, but I think actually that will add a bit more interest to it when all the cells come up. It's, you can see it's pulling through different colours. So I'm actually quite liking that. As if I keep swiping over the same place again and again, I'm just going to muddy the colours. So they'll be very muddy in the centre and then not at the edge. So that I'm not sure that would look right.
then just to finish i've just cut some even smaller bits the where it's missed and just a few places i'm going to just carry on just do some little tiny swipes again on the corner just to try and pull through like that so i don't have any um bits that haven't been swiped that have missed the swipes right canvas is totally covered it's taking me quite a long time to get to this point um and now i'm going to totally change it by torching um i'm not sure how many cells i want um i'd quite like to be able to see the lines so i guess i don't want it totally covered in cells but i do get carried away um, with torching so i'm just i'm going to try and go slowly to start with and just see what happens So what I've been doing is trying to, to torch in lines, to try and keep the lines. So there's loads of cells appearing. They're all very small, which suggests the paint is quite thick, which I know. So I'm now just going to walk away, leave it for a few minutes and come back and see, see what's changed. See if the cells are how they've developed. So it's been about 10 minutes and wow, it's worked. I'm so pleased. Um, the cells have grown. They're not massive, but they're perfect because you can see still lots of the lines which I wanted to keep. So it looks like sort of radial spokes. Um, I wanted to keep that, but I've got the cells. Um, so obviously right in the centre, you're going to get that turquoise uh, where there's no cells, which I so I picked that deliberately to go next to the black because it would be an obvious colour. Then you've got quite a lot of orange and then the cells really start blending. So you can see the blue and you can see the light. You can see the white line. You can see the orange line. You can see the lines, but they also start blending and the cells are beautiful. They are so sweet, so pretty. And then a little bit of black in the two corners. Um, no real muddying. I think where there is muddying, so for example here, yes, that has muddied, but because you've got the cells that pop through, which are just the such distinct colours, doesn't matter at all. Um, you've got little bits, so for example here, white, where it just, it, it suddenly appears, but because you've gotten a bit of blue there, you've got these little bits that suddenly appear throughout, it just works. It doesn't look out of place. There's a big block of white there that suddenly appears. It just doesn't matter because it's such a um, mixture of colours. And then when you then step back, you get the overall effect of it. So you can see the rings there. In fact, it's the white. You can see the white quite clearly and also quite clearly here. It's the white that seems to stand out a lot. Um, the edges didn't work. Didn't Disaster. So I will be painting the edges. I will be um, doing something separate once this is dried. Um, but just I'm incredibly happy um, with the cells. I'm not torching any more. Um, there's enough cells, plenty of cells. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy and really pretty excited about it. So I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry. It's dried so well. I have sharpened up the pupil slightly because it just skewed a little bit. Um, and the other thing that I've done um, I've just painted around the edge of the canvas in a really, really dark turquoise colour. So I just think that finishes it off beautifully. I've left just a little bit, oops, sorry, a little bit of this ridge. So when you're looking from the front, you won't see any of this. You can just see the, the colour at the side. Just look at the cells. They're so, so pretty. There are so many cells, um, all different colours. Love all the lines you can see underneath. Um, <clears throat> just, it's a beautiful blend. I've never, I don't think I've ever done an orange and blue painting like this. I've done orange and turquoise, but not with the blue as well. And I really like it. Um, next time I do something like this, I think I will thin the paint slightly because if you, if I can get this in the right angle, can you see that you can see the concentric circles where the thicker paints. Um, have caught there we go you can see it there they've caused a slight ridge doesn't really matter I guess I would rather it wasn't like that it was I would rather it was totally smooth 
Um, so I think next time just a little bit thinner and then the cells will be slightly larger as well. Um, but overall, love it. Love to doing another iris. So much fun. So definitely going to do more of these. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think. Please leave me any comments, any thoughts, any ideas for future pours, um, future iris paintings. I've got a rainbow one planned, um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, please hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Great, thanks for watching. Bye.